This is timeless. Still very much in its alpha stage. Let's see how this game plays. Welcome to test E98.3. This is a co-op test where participants must get to the end of the test in the smallest amount of time possible. The test is subdivided in quick. Where's your partner? There must be a mistake. Wait here. We'll go and check what happened. Please don't move from where you are. So I barely understood any of that. I think it was too robotic. It didn't really have that nice blend of like a smooth roboticism to it, like GLaDOS did or something like that. But clearly it was going for the GLaDOS feel. Visually, very nice game. It's very striking immediately. But some of the shadows are a little off. I'm sure you could just up the quality in the Unreal Engine to uh, make that higher. Maybe there was even a setting I could do in the INI file or something. But this is an alpha, so I'm going to give it to him on that, that it's probably just a setting. But wow, the Unreal 4 engine does not mess around. This is beautiful. It's my first time doing an Unreal 4 engine game. Anyway, we're being timed, so let's not dilly-dally too much. Right-click to capture a moment in time, left-click to go back into it. So, if I... So if I left-click here, and then I... Oh, hang on. So if I... Left-click here, and then... Hmm. Okay. So, if I right-click here, it's like I'm on the button. So, if I were to left-click, I'm on the button, but I'm not on the button. It's like somebody's on the button, but it wasn't me, you know? But, of course, that has to move, too, so let's do this. Alright. Everything in space and time right now is saved. So when I left click, I'm going to remain where I am, but everything else reverts. That's kind of neat. That's a cool mechanic. So, alright, so how about this? We right click here, and let's get on it and fall right through hell. Oops. Oh, that's really punishing. For a puzzle game, I don't know. I was on a completely separate puzzle, and now I gotta redo all this again. I don't know. With Portal, it was like, yeah, the quick save system, so you could save whenever you wanted, which was pretty nice. But, generally speaking, with a puzzler, you want to get back in the action as quickly as you can. Alright, so let's actually think this through for a second. So if I save time... If I save time like this, it won't be where I need it to be. If I save it like this, I won't be where I need it to be. What if... Okay, so that's where they're all met up. Hmm. I can jump a little bit, but I doubt I can jump that far. Wait, hang on, I have an idea. What if I can do this? Wait, what? Why'd it go forward? That was weird. Okay, so what if I do this? Better yet, what if I just follow it for whatever reason when it's moving forward? And then do that. Aha! Didn't even need the puzzle. I don't quite know what happened there and why it went, but I'll take it. Okay. So that'll bring that forward. That'll open that up. So if I save this... Yeah, if I save it there, that won't do anything for me. I need to save it, like, here, right? But then how long would I stay on it? If I save it like this... And then... I see, it remembers that I stayed on it! Oh! Okay, I think I'm getting this a little bit better now. I want to start recording here. And then I want to press the yellow button here, right? But it'll have been closed by then, right? So, let's replay that. It's going to stand on there. And then it's going to move over and hit the yellow button. That's not enough. Hmm. Can I have replays going on within replays? So, like, no, nah, that won't work. Okay. Let's start recording. Wait, I have an idea. I don't know if it'll work, but open it up first. That took way too long. Let's try that again. 
open it first, and then stand on it. Okay, and now open. No, I didn't jump. Ah, dang. See, okay. Phew, there was a checkpoint. I was worried about that. I think that'll work, though, so let's do this. That's my saved state. And as long as I jump at the right time, I think it'll work. Wait, what? What the hell's happening? Oh, I see what's happening. Okay. Dang, I forgot to jump again. Yeah, it is a little flat looking, but I think that it kind of balances out by having the ridges uh, on the ceiling and everything like that. The walls look a little flat. I don't know about that. Okay, and then get that going forward. If I just remember to jump, I should be good. Alright, and now it'll move forward. And now I can... Nope. Wow. Oh, what have I done? I've done so many bad things right there. Keep that open. Move that forward. Alright, now move it forward. And jump. Oh, it wasn't open quick enough. I need to... Okay. Better idea. Have no delay. Just be on the button and save that state. Save it here. Wait. Oh, oh. Better idea. Better idea. Can that work? If I save it like that. Replay it like that. Okay, let's see if that works. No, of course it won't work, because this needs to go forward still. Okay, I'm a mess. I don't know what I was thinking there. Keep it open. Save the state. Go over here. Get this moving forward. Alright. So now it's going to move forward. And now I can jump! Haha, -ha, there it is. It takes a little getting used to, but it definitely works. It's a good mechanic. This moves halfway. This moves halfway. I wonder if I can save a state where they're both halfway. Hmm. Okay, that's me standing on blue, so if I stand... Okay, okay. I half got it, I just needed it to go the other way. Hmm. But now is purple gonna get pressed? Okay, so... If I... Save it like this, purple is extended. Which means I can bring blue towards it. No, I need to save it first, then hold down. And then replay, basically. Bring blue towards it. Why isn't blue moving? Huh, for whatever reason, blue doesn't really move if I stand on it. That might be a bug. That won't work, will it? Unless I do something really stupid, which I've been known to do. Where's purple? There we go. Simple. I'm overthinking it. That's a really good point. I like that idea. There should be a ghost of yourself. How did you manage to get here? That's a really great point. If there was a ghost of yourself as you played that actually did the replay for you, you could see a lot more clearly what you just saved and what was going on. My first time through, I didn't realize there was going to be a ghost replaying what I did. I thought I was just going to be in a different place or something. Okay, so this is pretty simple. So, save it, play it, and redo. It's definitely a mechanic you pick up a lot more the more you play, which is great. That's a lot how, like, Portal worked. This seems like an empty room right here for the most part. There's just a lot of walking. Maybe streamline that somehow? Okay, I see. So it's going to be like opposites, isn't it? How can I change that? Oh, fell through that. Hmm. 
Is there a button I can use to change this? Don't think so. Maybe I can do this. No, nope, I'll phase inside it. Maybe I can do this. Haha! So if you save it just beforehand, while it's already fully extended, you can jump at the right time. It seems like this has a lot to do with jumping at the right time. Ooh, it's all see-through-y and reflecty kind of. So if I move forward and jump. Nope, got it wrong. I have to have this while it's at its lowest state, then I save, and then it gets to its highest state, and then I jump. Pretty simple, actually. Okay, now. What does this do? Oh, I see. So we can extend this out to its fullest and save it. That way when we get over there, we can just pull onto it, I guess. Simple enough. For some reason, these puzzles... Oh! Ah, crap. Oh, and I didn't even die. Oh, dang. Okay, so a verticality level like this is a little punishing if you fall, because now i got to redo this whole part right here. I guess that's kind of the downside of having a really open vertical map like that, is, you know, if you fall, you're going to have to redo all this. Kind of a shame. Got it backwards. Oh, you know, I just realized it's going to be at its lowest point when all of them are at their lowest points. I probably should have just kept the same save state. Overall, though, the mechanic does open up some interesting possibilities that are being explored very well. I just do wonder if there are any more that it can work with. And if not, I wonder if there are any ways that it can be expanded on even further to add more. Right, so let's see, it's going to be right in front of me? Cool. Okay, so from here, I need purple to come back out. So... I could do something stupid again. Yep, that'll work. And what's yellow do? Brings this down, brings it up. Oh, crap. Definitely brings it up. Hmm, well, I don't want to phase into it. That's going to be my path back right there. So I don't want to ruin the save state. Let's do this. Save it. Immediately after flashing forward, I saved it. Nope, that's too early. Hang on. Yeah, that's too early. I might have broken it. Eh, we'll find out. Let's see how this goes. Oh, jumping at the right time saves the day. Of course, I didn't stand on the yellow thing for too long, but... Oh, I timed it bad. Kill me, kill me, please kill me. Oh, long heights should really just kill you and bring you to a checkpoint. Is there a... Nope, there's no, like, checkpoint return button. So now I'm back at the beginning, which kind of really is a shame. That's just way too punishing on the player, in my opinion. Alright, well, let's get this started, I guess. Lift me up. Because basically, now I'm just rehashing all the puzzles I did before, and that's just no fun, in my opinion. Oh, right, I did it wrong. Because there's no more satisfaction in figuring it out, because I've already figured it out. I'm just doing it again now. Only, you know, every time I screw up, I'll have to do it again. Okay, so I should be able to do this. And then I should be able to do this. If I jumped right, which I didn't. Yeah, definitely introduce a dying mechanic for falling too high, in my opinion. Because otherwise, you're just rehashing. And that might just be spe specific to this level, because of its verticality. I don't know. Maybe a kill floor of some sort, you know? I mean, granted, you didn't want to die from falling too high in Portal, so what they did was they just introduced kill floors, kill floors into rooms.
Oh, crap. I thought it was going to be there. I forgot. I didn't have to save the state. Yeah, this is a really rough uh, level. Especially for starting off so early in the game, you know? Ah, shoot. It'd almost be nice if there was a way for me to, like, teleport back to where my last save was. My last save state, rather. That'd probably be your best solution. If not a suicide key, just some way to get back to where you just were, you know? Which could be predefined by your movements. It's like, oh, you last saved your uh, state here, so this is probably where you want to be. And actually, let's take a quick look. Nope, there's no settings. I was hoping I could look at all the keys through a key binding or something, but nothing I'm pressing seems to be doing something of the sort, so since I wasn't told in-game, I'm going to assume that there's nothing for that yet. But that's probably going to be your biggest player pain point. Redoing things over and over and over again. Puzzles are only really fun the first time around, unless you've forgotten about them. And you're sure as hell better not have forgotten about them in the last five minutes. Save the state like that. It'll be ready for me when I get over there. There we go. Now I need this. Save it like that. Okay, so now... I'll have to do that leap of faith again. And this will be ready for me. Okay, so that'll extend... And then this will go back up when I do this. Okay, so now let's test out if I was right about that. There it goes. Right, let's look at that again. Now, what's going on up here? Something extends out, then it comes back. They all seem to come back. Let's look at that one. Will that one be ready when I need it? Nope, they're all going to be just out of reach, except for if... Nope, even if I jump at that time, they're all going to be out of reach. Crap. Let's consider a backup plan. This might ruin the save state. Let's see. I think I just need to, like, hold on to the yellow button even longer. Just keep holding on to it for a little while, right? There we go. That should be plenty. Okay, so now... And then this should rise and stay up for quite a while. And now which one do I want? I can take my time figuring it out, I guess. There we go. There's my platform. Okay. Let's wait for the pillar to rise. And orange should be getting pressed, or not. I don't know what's happening anymore. Oh wow, it got pressed like then. That was weird. Huh. Okay, there it goes. I guess pressing it multiple times through different time zones kind of screws it up? I don't know. Alright, so... When's orange going to go back now? There we go. And then this opens that up. Now, there is a lot of waiting involved in a way, because you got to make sure everything's going to work, you know? So, like, if I do that, all right, blue will hold there for a while. Orange will come out. Should be able to get through blue if I'm quick. Or just do this. Is this the end of the level? Please, God, tell me it's the end of the level. It's not. Oh, God, what's happening here? More importantly... Okay. Oh, this is going to be another leap of faith. They're throwing this at me at the end. Oh, I better get this right. I got it wrong! Oh, but I saved it. 
I saved it. Kind of. Not a great save, but I'll take it. Oh boy. Punishing. Punishing, punishing, punishing. Alright, now where's the blue? Alright, there's the blue. That's the way I want to go. Don't fall, don't fall, don't fall, don't fall, don't fall. Thank you. Would you believe I timed that? Because I definitely didn't time that. Don't believe the hype. Okay, leap of faith, leap of faith, leap of faith, but not that far. There we go. Shoo! Brutal! Some kind of indicator right there of where it will be when it's extended, even when it's not there, would be really nice. Like, some kind of really subtle lighting trick or something like that. I don't know, maybe just a spotlight there. Anytime that you're, you're gonna make me make a leap of faith like that, I would love it if there was just some kind of subtle indicator, mainly through lighting. Lighting is always a great subtle indicator method. If there was some kind of subtle indicator that this will be the place you're aiming for, this is your safe spot, go here. Nothing super obvious, nothing super flashy, just something, you know? Whew. Can't believe I made that. That's really hard for a second level. The clocks are fine. It's you. You're playing with time. Please stop doing that. Time is key for testing. Time is key for testing. Alright, let's check out one more level. What the heck? Oh, it kind of shot. Okay, so... So... Yay, aerial faith pads. Ooh. Okay. Alright, we're up in the ante a little bit here. Death lasers. That's always a sign. Probably a sign that I shouldn't be here, but a sign nonetheless. Now we got all green lights everywhere. The lighting's nice, but everything starts looking really similar really quickly. They always say when it comes to level design, Imperfection is perfection, and everything here just looks way too perfect, you know? I mean, you got the little differences here, like these little off-color compared to the rest of them uh, panels, I suppose you could say. And then you get these weird cave sections that don't really fit in. But I don't know, I feel like there could be like things out of place, things not quite right. Just maybe have some panels that are just broken somewhere or something, chipped, I don't know. Little imperfections, they mean a lot. Okay, so save it here. Jump me there. Hopefully that'll be quick enough. Let's find out. That was not quick enough. Nope. Gotta predict it a little better. Nope. Alright, it's gonna be really close. Let's see if I die. Nope. Right on the money. Yeah, the voice is definitely a little hard to understand. I think it could benefit from uh, being less roboticized. The subtitles help, but I don't want to have to depend on subtitles. Okay, so... Save it here, fire away. That should work. Pop! Ooh, just enough. I'm glad to see the mechanics diversifying, though, and being a little more fun. I actually would have liked to see these... used more in the last level. The one that was all about verticality? Seems almost like it would have been the better level for it. I mean, if you want to show off verticality, jump pads are the best way to possibly do it. And yet there were no jump pads. Sadness. Oh, oh, I see how this has got to go. It's got to be timed right, so... Actually, I have an idea. I wonder if this will work. No, it's going to be a little off. Okay. I'm going to want it right about... Here. Nope, just a little too late. That might be a little too early, let's find out. Nope, right on the money. He gave me my last warning twice. Yay, bugs. Okay, so this is gonna fire all these, isn't it? Fired that one, it fired that one, and it fired that one. Okay, I see what has to happen here. It's kind of fun. Alright, now let's see if I can actually utilize it right. So, in theory, right now, every time I click, this should spring. Uh oh. Uh oh. Oh, I died. 
All right, let's try it. Let's try making it a little quicker. Oh, 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 oh. Nope. I gotta make sure that light's not on. But I can't really see it. It seems like a detriment. How am I gonna time it right if they'll... Oh, maybe they're, maybe they're all linked up. Let's find out. Alright. If I timed it right, I should just need to click every time I'm about to either cross a laser or hit a spring. Oh, or I'll just completely whiff it. That's an option. Let's see if this works. This might not work. No! You didn't ju jump high enough. Maybe I wasn't high enough on the spring? Alright, let's try being really high up on the spring this time. Right, I need to actually click. I knew that. It should be set up so when I click, yeah, it'll open up all the laser gates. Alright. So let's get high up on the spring. Click. Click. Well, I made it through, but again, I'm just not quite... I think that's just a little higher up than it needs to be, or maybe just a little too perfect. Maybe make the giant laser things of death a little bit bigger. Why not, right? Oh. Ah, shoot. This is a tough one. I like the idea, though. It's just it's going to need a lot of perfect movement. Ah, a little late. A little early, rather. Ah, dang it. Because i got to account for that delay, too. The second I switch time, it's not going to be there. I still had to take, like about half a second to maybe actually touch the pad that would activate it. So let's... Alright. Oh, no! Oh, just barely made that. Hopefully it saved that. I'm sure it didn't. What's the blue thing you do? Oh, it's another pad. Oh, this can't be good. Okay. Let's see how this goes. I'm sure the answer will be not pleasantly. I'm gonna assume I'm over the blue pad. I was right! Oh crap, I was half right. Ah, <laughs> no! Let me live. Alright, let's see if maybe I uh, was smarter with this than I thought I was. I was! Yes! No! No! <laughs> I was so close! <laughs> I overshot it. Okay. It did not remember where I was. I have to go through all this again. That's a shame. Alright. Is that laser going to be on or off? It'll be off. That'll work. Alright. Let's get this one. Now that I know what I'm going for. Wait, no, that won't work. It's got to be It's got to be aligned just right for what I have planned. So, something more along the lines of now. Oh, come on. No, cut me a break. Oh, the punishments. It's so brutal that I got to do all this again now. A quick save system would just be nice. That'd just be kind. I don't even know if I timed the laser right on this. Let's find out. I did, but still got that wrong. Now, for a, a puzzle game, I feel like the music is a little too intense. Usually with puzzle games, you definitely want to keep that theme you got going. But it's usually better to have more of like a softer feel. I don't know. Not, not so hardcore aggressive. Again, you've modeled a lot of this game after Portal, admittedly. It might be good to look at how Portal does the music. There are definitely some situations 
where the music's really hard and, you know, aggressive and in your face, but those are usually more reserved for, like, the, the story sections, particularly in Portal 2. The sections where you're not really trying to focus. Whenever you're trying to focus, it's generally a good idea to, you know, not be overwhelmed with aggressiveness. Right, let's see if I got that right. Should be timed right. Close that. Oh, ho, 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 ho. What's fun is I know I'm going to have to do this a third time. Hmm. I don't know if that's right. That's probably not. Let's find out. Well, I only, I only get really one shot to make sure I got this right, and then I got to do everything all over again. The setting up in particular. All right, let's see if this will work. Okay. Let's hope I'm a genius. What the hell? I didn't get shot up. Oh, what the heck? It's not working. Maybe I pressed it too late or something? Well, I'm in a kill myself situation right now. That sucks. Grr. Kill myself. No real option. What's that doing down there? Must be something towards the end. It's a really punishing game, I gotta admit. Almost to the point where you just kinda wanna stop after a while. Let's see if that was right. Doesn't matter, I messed up anyway. One thing that you always want is a way to get back in the action immediately. I'm going the wrong way. With every game, every game, you want to be able to get back in the action immediately, and more importantly, you want to get back to where you were immediately. And maybe that's more just a thing of instant gratification, but it still, it does affect you as a player. You're like, why aren't I back where I was? And I always reference this game. I always reference this game when I talk about this, but Hotline Miami nailed it. Whenever you mess up, it doesn't matter because you just press R and you're immediately back in the game. Doesn't matter how close you were to the end or anything, if you messed up, it doesn't matter because you're right back at the beginning starting again. You don't even get a second to think about how much you messed up. And that's kind of a brilliant aspect to it is they don't even give you the time to think, oh man, I just screwed up so badly because guess what? You're just immediately back in the action. If you took that time to get to, uh, to think about it, that's on you because they didn't really give you that time, you decided to take that time. But in this game, you're kind of being forced to dwell on your mistakes. And you will dwell on your mistakes, let me tell you that. Crap, okay, 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 oh, come on. I just needed to hit the button one more time at the right time. That was actually probably the closest I've come. Oh, messed that up. It's probably too late, let's find out. Come on, come on, jump me! Ah, uh, nope. It's okay, we got it timed right. Alright, we're through. Now if I can just get this one right, this one's tricky. I basically gotta do it when it's already... just before it's over it. Did I get that right? Hang on, before I invest more time into this, let's back off here again and make sure I time that right. Yep, it's all timed correctly. I just need to actually do it. <laughs> Whee! No, don't kill myself. Not again. Alright. Get me down here. Alright. Oh no, I timed it just barely. Okay, wait, wait, wait. I can make this work. I can make this work. Yes, yes, yes. Oh my god, I finally made it. It feels so satisfying, but it feels horrible to know that one mess up and I might lose all of it. Okay, so this should... Nope, that's not disabling the laser. Hang on. Make sure it's disabled and make sure it's at its end. Nope. Oh, this is tricky. I gotta manage two platforms being in the right place. Oh, I see exactly the point I need it to be. Actually, I should just hold it like this, right? So then I can... Save there, that's the point I want. So now both platforms should be halfway. 
crap, well they were, but both platforms need to be halfway. How do I, like, erase the ghost that's doing stuff right now? Because I don't want a ghost here. Okay, so if I save this... And if I just hold this down... And then... Halfway laser off. Right there. That's the point. That's the point where I need to jump exactly right. Oh my god, this is gonna go bad. <laughs> it's all wrong. Wait, I have a better idea. Just keep holding on to the yellow for a little while. Just make sure the gate's open. I don't want any risk of this thing closing on me at the last second, right? Okay. That should stay open. Now if I can just make the leap of faith and not fuck up. Oh my god, I made it. Oh, I can't believe I made it. That's so satisfying. And that was level three, ladies and gentlemen, of Timeless. Oh my goodness. As you wish. My will now show you oh, okay, apparently there's a boss. We're not going to fight the boss. We're going to leave something to the imagination. And that was timeless. It's cool, but oh my goodness, it's hard. It's really hard. It's too punishing, in my opinion. There needs to be a way to get you back in the action much quicker. There could be better conveyance. I loved the idea of having a ghost do the things that you did before, so you could actually see that happening. But overall, a lot of the puzzles do start to do the samey kind of thing. A lot of them are just about having the right recording and activating it at the right time. I wonder if there's more you could expand on than just that, and I wonder if maybe that's even already in the game. All I can say is it's definitely a great start at the very least, and I'd like to see more come of it. Timeless, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you very much for pushing this forward to me.